Gender to me is a bit like languages and money, and that like mm, right. yeah. it exists, like it's real, and it informs how humans interact with each other a great deal, and it's important. But we made it up. Yes. Mm. Right. If you took your body away, who would you be at your core? Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I didn't have this body, if I was just floating meaninglessly in space as a weird blob of cells, like who would I be Sounds inside? Lovely. Right? <laughs> Doesn't sound incredible. I have like something of a reputation of being like the person that people talk to about gender at house parties. <laughs> Same. So whenever that happens, like if I'm talking to a cis man, I'm like, if you shut your eyes and try to describe to me what it means to be a man, what would you say to me? What does your gender mean to you? How would you articulate that? People think of gender as a finite and an objective thing, that, that it starts here and it ends here, that you go from one place to another, and it's not that. It, for me, just keeps going. It's, it's a continuing line. It's just walking straight in the woods and not really knowing where I'm going. I think a lot of people kind of balk at that a little bit because they fear that it invalidates their experience of gender, whether right. we're talking about like, someone who's trans, someone who's cis, but someone who is like, but does that mean that my experience of gender isn't real? And I'm like, no, not at all, not mm. at all. Doesn't mean that at all. People see non-binary folks oftentimes from a binary lens. So it's almost as though, oh, you're non-binary, so are you like 50-50 male, female? And I'm like, right. That does not make sense. Right. Like, what's like, your what ratio? Is your, what is your ratio? Yeah. Like, where, like, you where, where do you fall? Yeah. The universe of gender is a bit more complicated, and let's talk about that. Yeah. I remember when I was in high school, and I first started kind of understanding that my gender was a little more complicated yeah. than I knew how to give it credit for. Yeah, I made up my right. own language. Did you really? Mm -hmm. no yeah, and the term that I used, because we were reading like a lot of Thoreau, I started using the term gender transcendentalist. Ooh. Right, <laughs> they're like, I was like, wow. I'm like, I practice gender transcendentalism. So we're um, gonna make it happen. Yeah, That's right. gonna be the new term. Right. Welcome to Netflix's gender transcendentalism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My gender identity does not relate to my sexual orientation, even remotely. I identify as both non-binary and pansexual, which are two very fancy ways of saying, I, I don't care. <laughs> I see through you into your soul. Like, that's what matters to me is, can we talk like people? Do you understand me as a person? Can you give me what I need as a person, as a soul? Like, that's, that's what's important to me. It doesn't matter what's in your pants. It doesn't matter how you express yourself or what you look like. It's just, it's the core of your being. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> the word and the place that I am most at home is in calling myself a lesbian, and that took a long time. I don't identify as a woman, but I'm assigned female at birth. I am looked at as a woman, I am spoken to as a woman, I am treated as a woman, and I'm attracted to women. So it's like, what, what am I supposed to call myself? <laughs> like, what, right. like, what should I do here? And that's why when people say, what's your sexual orientation? I'm just like, queer, pansexual's right. fine, I guess. Yeah. I feel sexy in my gender, and I want to feel more desirable in my gender. And I think I live in a world where being femme means feeling less desirable, and mm. means feeling less beautiful. The amount of uh, dating that I've done in my life is a lot less than people would assume. You know, because I mean, because I'm desexualized everywhere I go. Yeah. There's a time in my life when I thought I can be with someone who is, you know, if they're just attracted to me when I'm in gym shorts and a t-shirt, I can live with it. And now I'm in a place where I'm like, no, you don't, you don't, you don't get that pass anymore. I need you to see me in a dress and understand me as beautiful. Just finding someone who'd be willing to look past the exterior and see you for yourself. Oh, right. but also love the exterior. Of course, of well, course. Oh, I mean, yeah. it comes with well, the package. It's it. the whole package. Yeah, <laughs> Growing up, people are like, where did you see yourself in media? And they mm, want yeah. me to say, like, David Bowie. And I'm like, right. no, 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 no. It was Gandalf, okay? Mm -hmm. We already have trans feminine people who are heroes in our folklore. Yes, we do. Like, it's just that we don't name it or allow them to have real story. We code it. Yes. Queer characters are very often stereotyped as villains, mm -hmm. caricatures, sidekicks are there for comic relief, or they don't serve the narrative a greater purpose. What I want to say to every producer in Hollywood is just, you have a blank slate every time. Right. Why would you create a new world and give it the same limitations as the old one? Right. And right. why would you do that? Like, yeah, why exactly. would you Why would you write a fantasy, but like, homophobia still exists in like your made up universe? Exactly. Like, why, like yeah. what, why? I got cast in Serena and they put in the end of the email, if you want to share your story, your journey, we'd love to hear it. I said, yeah, fuck yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. Here's all the trauma in my life that has prepared me for this moment in particular. Here's all the shit I can talk about. We're telling a queer storyline, but we're telling it right because they're listening to me. What I wish people knew about non-binary identity is I think that we're equal people, that we don't have to be different if you don't see us that way, that we are human and that our ideas and our concepts and our feelings are human and that we just want to be accepted and loved just like everyone else.
That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.